What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zill Toys, and today I have a review of the Kyoto Sofubi Box Polar Bear. Alright my zillions, I'm back with you with Review 701. Uh, it's been a week almost, uh, it felt like a week since I did my Iron Giant review, and I apologize for not being on the channel. If you haven't seen my uh, community posts, I've uh, been embroiled in one. Headlines. Two, Ultrazilla Jr.'s birthday party. Happy birthday to Ultrazilla Jr. once again, uh, officially here on the channel. Uh, it was his birthday last Thursday, so we, you know, had a little family time then, and then we had a big party on Saturday. And in the setting up of all of that and doing the deadlines, I got sick. Yeah, again, Ultrazilla Jr. Is a little, was, has been a little bit under weather. He's doing better than, uh, as well, he's been doing better than me, but... Just wanted to give you guys an update what's been going on here. So we're starting out the week, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll get more reviews done after this. Um, with a nice easy one, Kyoto's Polar Bear from Safubi Box. No bells and whistles on this review, just because I really want to get it done, and I get something done and up on the channel for you guys. So less cuts and um, more action here. Um, why I get this Polar Bear, you'll see at the end here, but... It is a cool piece. It's a really nice sculpt. These Safubi boxes are pretty cool. I've gotten a few. Uh, this is my my third one, I believe, of this series. Or maybe, yeah, third one. I got the T-Rex and uh, 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 Getter, uh, Getter 1. So, pretty cool. Nice sculpt throughout. The fur texture looks pretty good. The little nails look good. I really like the paint on the nails. That's done well. Fubi box, you know, they uh, have a little bit better paint than the normal, like, regular vinyls. They are vinyl figures. The nails on the feet look pretty good. Except right there. That's no good. So I don't know if that's a paint chip. I don't think it is. It just looks like it's painted over um, with uh, this color here. But otherwise, the paint on the nails look pretty good overall. And the fur has a nice texture. It's got some yellowing to it, which is pretty accurate to polar bears. You get on the bottom, it's a little dirty. Look in on the uh, underside there, uh, all around here, up in the chest. You see the yellow on his uh, arms here. I really like how the fur comes like this, it's like a like a point almost. Uh, I, I really do dig that, and it's yellow at the edges, which is very very nice. Again, the paws look very good. Um, with the with the yellowing you get it on the bottom of the mouth here and you get this mouth is painted in black so is his nose and then you got some gradient around it some dark gradient which looks good the eyes are done pretty much just in black nice though very nice a little bit of yellow around them the ears have some yellow and a little bit of brown in, in the interior there or it's kind of like a like a warm gray I would say the back has a little bit of a uh, messed up like extra paint here is some sort of paint line there. Yeah, I don't know where that comes from, but Yeah, it's maybe something I could get off probably it is not on a painted spot So maybe I could do some you got a little bit over here, too. So errant Like it looks like ink so But that's what he looks like and put him far away for you guys since I didn't do my normal turn around here today I literally came down to the studio just now to uh because the laundry room is near the studio, uh, and put in some laundry. And I'm like, man, I'm gonna go do a review real quick. And this is what I chose because it's easy. Looks really good though. That That's really nice. I love, like you see like the rib cage here. That's pretty cool. And I like the bottom of his neck. That looks very, very nice. Kyoto did a really fine job with this. And I just love his gait. It's really cool. Um, so articulation, heads on the swivel. It is a, Vinyl figure after all, but there is some articulation. You got a shoulder swivel, you got an elbow swivel, and you got a chest swivel, and then you got the uh, thigh swivels here, as well as a little bit of foot swivel. Uh, maybe not. It might be really tight. There you go. You just gotta loosen it. Free it up. So there you have it. That is uh, that is the polar bear, the look, and the articulation. It's pretty rad. For size comparisons, here he is with the NECA G62. 
SH Monster Arts Gamma 3, Figure Eyes Broly, Sentinels the Iron Giant, and Alita Class Megatron. As you can see, he's, he's just about the size of Megatron there. It's pretty cool. But why did I get a polar bear? Seriously, I just got him to be a prop for the Mezco 112 Collective Punisher to punch him in the face. And if you've never read uh, Garth Innes and Steve Dillon's Punisher series, I highly recommend it because Frank Castle punches a polar bear in the face. And that is my review, guys. I hope you dug it. I think this is a really nice polar bear. Otherwise, it looked really cool. Uh, the paint is actually really, really nice. Uh, and it's pretty cheap. I got it on sale at HLJ. It is not on sale anymore. But uh, if you can find it like under 20 bucks, it is highly worth it. All right, so there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. And uh, thanks for uh, bearing with me with this bare bones review. Hope to uh, get back to the normal reviews uh, pretty quick, uh, hopefully. <laughs> but I hope you dug this one. All right, so please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time, peace out, peeps.